y domingo por la mañana. And welcome to New Beginnings Church of the Big Ben. Amen. Bienvenidos a la iglesia del nuevo comienzo. And we want to welcome all those of you that are joining us by audio or video. Amen. Just welcome. Prepare yourselves to receive. Bienvenidos a todos los que nos escuchan por audio o video. Prepárese a recibir lo que el Señor tenga para usted. Los quiere bendecir, los quiere animar, los quiere uh, cambiar y nos quiere corregir. Amen. He wants to bless you, encourage you, change you, and correct you. Yes. Amen. Amen. Because we all need that little extra correction. Amen. Yes. Yes. Bible tells us to uh, study to show ourselves approved. Yeah. Amen. So we need to get the word in us, you know. Yeah. You, 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 <laughs> you're a vessel, but you got to get yourself full of the word yes. so the word can come out of you. Yes. Amen. And we have this awesome uh, mouth, this tongue. The Bible says death and life are in the power of the tongue. Uh -huh. But we need to let the life, the live word of God flow out of us. Out of our innermost being shall flow rivers of yes. living water. So speak the word of God, amen? Amen, amen. amen. and he can, you can do it. He says, you can do all things through Christ who yes. strengthens you. Amen. So don't doubt, believe, be believers. Yes. We're called believers, yes. <laughs> children of God, uh, Christians, yes. amen? Yes. So praise amen. God, amen? I'm excited, amen. I don't know about you, but uh, get yourselves ready, and before amen. we do anything else, Let's do our declaration. Yes, yes. What's our declaration says? This is my, this is my Bible. Bible. I am what it says I am. I have what it says I have. I can do what it says I can do. Today, I'll be taught the word of God. I boldly confess. My mind is alert. My spirit is receptive. And I'll never be the same in Jesus' name. Amen. Woo, hallelujah. Today, I'll be taught the word of God. Man, we got to practice this on a daily basis. And my mind needs to be alert. The Bible says we are three being, three tri being, <laughs> spirit, soul, body. Amen. And uh, we feed our, our spirit the word of God. Amen. And we renew our minds with the word of God. Amen. He tells us to do that all the time. You're bombarded every day by the world, you know, by TV, by whatever you see or hear, or uh, whatever you, you say. Be careful. Renew your mind. With the word of God. Yes, amen. 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 And we have this body. And this body just wants to be comfy. And yeah. it wants to be lazy. <laughs> so. Just says crucify. Yes. Amen. So Lord. crucify. Hallelujah. So I'm receptive to whatever God has for me. Amen. amen. We're on a series. We've been on a series. Well before I get too far ahead. I want to share my nugget with you. Oh. Last week we talked about. The Beatitudes. <laughs> if you don't have the Beatitudes. You got to get them. Amen. Yes. Be attitudes. Be available. Yeah. Be committed. Be yourself. Be a blessed. Be humble. Be teachable. Yes. And be forgiving. And they just go on and on and on. But don't say, well, I can't do it. You know, that's not what the Bible says. Right. You know, confess what the Word of God says. Yes. Right. Not what your mind or what your lazy self wants uh -huh. to say. Uh -huh. Confess or what somebody else says about you. Yes. Confess what the Word of God says about you. They may not agree with you, but that's okay. Amen. You're confessing what the Word of God says. Right. And today's nugget is this. Starve. We're going to be talking about if you're going to be available, there's going to be distractions wanting to stop you. Amen. Right. There's going to be many distractions wanting to stop you. Because the enemy, this world, don't want you to continue uh, preaching the Word of God, confessing the Word of God. But it says like this. Starve your distractions and feed your Focus. Right. And our focus is on Him. Our focus is on His Word. Amen. And our focus is on fulfilling whatever He's called you to do. Amen. Big or small. We've talked about this all the time. Don't get distracted with, well, am I doing something big or I'm doing something small? No. Just focus on Him. Amen. And forget about that other stuff. So I'm excited. I don't know about you. The Bible tells me in uh, Psalms 118, 24. What? This is a day. The Lord has made, I will rejoice and be glad on it. Amen. I'll be glad in it. I have many distractions already this morning. I'll share it with the ah, church family. I didn't feel like being here. I felt dizzy. I felt like, wow, I'm going to stay home. I'm going to be sick. I had all those things just fly through me. <laughs> but still, I said, no, I'm going to put that aside. Amen. Amen. I'm going to fulfill what God has called me to do. 
You know, he doesn't want you. The enemy don't want you. He says he comes to steal, kill, and destroy. Yes. And he doesn't want you to share the word of God. Right. Amen. And I want to share this for, with you. Amen. Whoever's watching, whoever's listening, Amen. this is for you. Okay? We're on a series right now, being available. Uh -huh. Be available. God wants to use you. Don't ever say, well, God never uses me. Uh -huh. Well, you never open your Bible. Uh -huh. You dust it off. I mean, you got so much dust on it, you yeah. never open it. It's called relationship. Yes. Amen. Christianity is relationship. We have relationship with Him. That means we have to open the Word and talk to Him. Amen. Or you can just go direct to Him. But be available for Him. God wants to use you. He wants to use you. Don't wait on Him. He's waiting on you. Right. Amen. Amen. We always right. got to put this on our excuse list. You know, uh -huh. well, I'm waiting on God. Well, God is. You 70, 80, 90 years old. <laughs> How much longer you got to wait? Yeah. You're almost yeah. gone out of here yeah. and you yeah. have done the thing for God. Right. Amen. Amen. <laughs> uh, us younger people, <laughs> let's get busy for God now. Amen. 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 Say, hey, Amen. I, I'm here, Lord. Use me. I am. Here I am. Use yeah. me. Yeah. Come on. <laughs> Don't disqualifying yourself. Right. He's already qualified you. Amen. Amen. He doesn't call the qualified. He qualifies those call. he called. Yes. Amen. Amen. Woo. Man, I'm preaching better than you. Amen than me. Amen. Amen. <laughs> Woo. Praise God. Be available. He wants to use you and we must serve him with passion. Yes. You know, yes. passion is be on fire for him. You know, I get on fire for watching sports. I get on fire for doing other things yeah. I like to do. Uh -huh. But why can't we get on fire for Amen. serving him? That's right. Amen. Amen. Praise God. Be, be Amen. on fire for him. You know, when he called the uh, disciples, <laughs> they were on fire for fishing. Yes. <laughs> and he yes. called them, and guess what? They dropped their nets. Mm -hmm. They left their boats behind. They left their business. They left their shops. <laughs> mm -hmm. And they followed him. You know, when you got born again, and if you haven't, it's time for you to get born again. That's and right. come to him. You know, it's a spiritual birth. You're still the same on the outside. On yes. the inside, you had a, you're had you're to have a spiritual birth. Right. And you're going to change on the inside, from the inside out. Amen. Praise God. Amen. But be on fire for him. Amen. God wants to use you. He wants to use you right where you are. Mm -hmm. Well, you, you know, we're never ready. And not, huh? and not yet, Lord. Mm -hmm. I'm not in the right place. Oh, no. I, I don't, right. I'm not in the right city. I'm not in the right whatever. Right. But we have all kinds of excuses. Yeah. Right where you are. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Jonah was in the belly of a uh, whale. <laughs> you know, mm -hmm. uh, the fish, you know. And uh, others were in different situations. But yeah. God used them anyway. Amen. Mm -hmm. Where you live, where you work, where you go to school, or, or, or at your favorite uh, sporting event oh, or game. Yeah. Come on now. Yeah. How many of you seen a, a, a game, a football game, whatever, and you, you used to see this guy in, in the stands that says, mm -hmm. John 3.16. Yes. <laughs> Amen. They're, they're confessing the word. Yeah. Maybe I can't be, uh, I can't say, I can't speak in a microphone, but you can read this. Yes. Right. Yeah. And it gets the people, and people see yeah. it, and they, they, they go and find out what, it's, what it means, uh -huh. and they're born again. Amen. God can use every one of us. Yes. Amen. Woo, hallelujah. In your area of influence, I can't go where you go. Uh -huh. But guess what? He's the head, we're the body. Yeah. And we all go to different areas where your area of influence, that's a good place for you to start sharing God and be available for Him to use you. Amen? Yeah. You're going to hear the word be available so many times. It's okay. <laughs> it's time for us to get off our como se llama and get busy for God. Amen? <laughs> he wants us to be, yeah. listen to this. He wants us to be world changers. Yes. We can be world changers right here in Martha. We can be world changers right here in the Big Bang area. Amen. Wherever Amen. you happen to be, be a world changer for God. Amen. Amen. Woo. Listen, when you get in the Word and the Word is in you, mm -hmm. you start seeing yourself the way He sees you. Mm -hmm. He sees you a winner. Yes. He sees you qualified. He sees you uh, an overcomer. Yeah. Amen. He sees you a champion. Yeah. When he sees you this way, you start seeing yourself that way. Mm -hmm. The world will put you down. The world has disqualified you. Mm -hmm. But guess what? You start confessing what the Word of God says about yeah. you. Not what they say about you. That's right. Amen. 
And you know why people don't accept you? <laughs> you know why you can't never please people? Because the God in you just really distracts their demons in them. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and they don't feel good about it. So yeah. they're going to say something. You know, hey, get away from me. Uh-huh. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, man. I can go so many directions here. Uh, he wants us to be impact people. Uh-huh. Live with purpose yes. and fulfill our call. You know how we're going to fulfill our call? Is to be in relationship and be in contact with him and say, Lord, here am I. Lord, what do we do today? You know, I was military for 20 plus years. And every day we had a priority list. Well, as soldiers for Jesus, guess what? We have a priority list every day. And what's my priority list? Him first. Yeah. Matthew 6 33. Seek him first. Mm -hmm. Amen. That's what we need to do. Seek him first. Yes. Lord, I'm Amen. seeking him. Before you do anything else, yes. spend time with him. Yes. Before Amen. you walk out the door, spend time with him. Amen. And he'll let you know what the priority list is. Amen. Right. Praise God. Amen. Praise God. I'm so blessed. I'm so happy. I'm so excited. Can you tell? Amen. <laughs> God wants to use us. Yes, but yes. we are to love and serve him with passion. Yes. Passionately. Amen. When you yes. love something passionately, <laughs> you just don't put it by the wayside. That's right. You know, we give God this uh, uh, a spare tire a treatment, you know. Mm -hmm. You know, hey, a spare tire. Hey, it's there. We know it's there. We know God is there. Yes. And you know what? We'll call you if we need to. We'll use yep. you if we need yeah. to. Yeah. And we, we need to stop that. That's right. We got to spend time with him on a daily basis yes, as often yes. as possible. So, yes. And it's me again. <laughs> you know, you, when you spend a lot of time with him, he gets to know you real well. Yeah. I mean, he already knows you well. We yeah. need to get, we need to know him yes. and know yes. what we can do through yes. him. Amen. Come on now. <laughs> the question is, we love to serve him passionately, but the question is, do you want to be used? Right. Hmm? Yep. Are you making yourself available? Well, you know, if you go by what so-and-so said, if you go by what the world says, you're not educated. You're not yeah. good enough. Mm -hmm. You're disqualified. You know, you've done this, you've done uh -huh. that, you've sinned, and he can't use you anymore. If you go by those things, guess what? Uh -huh. You're not gonna, never going to be available. Right. That's right. But you, you have to stop seeing yourself that way. Right. If your answer is no, then you're out of his will. Uh -huh. And when you're out of his will, you become automatically, you become a judge and you become a spectator. Uh -huh. <laughs> and you start seeing things and you start judging people. Uh -huh. Right. They ain't doing it right. They ain't doing this and this and this and that. Okay? Yeah. You're out of his will. What about you? If you say yes, you're in his will, then you become a participator. Yes, amen. Yeah. Amen. You're a participator. And I forgot to tell you, but the spectator is cold. The participator is hot. Yeah. And don't know, then you're confused. Uh -huh. You're lukewarm. <laughs> I, I don't know. I don't know. Well, it's up to him. Right. No, it's up to you. Right. Amen. Amen. Yeah. It's, it's up to you. It's your choice. You need to make yourself available. Amen. Yeah. God wants to. What God wants you hot or cold, but not lukewarm. Cannot straddle the fence or dry <laughs> in the middle. Amen. Must choose right or wrong, but not the middle. I say, well, you know, I just want to. The middle is just a comfy. <laughs> yeah. Please the world and please God. You know, I keep them both this way. No. Can't do that. He says, you be hot. You say, I, I receive you even if you're cold. Or hot, but not lukewarm. He says, I'll spit you out of my mouth. As a matter of fact, if you want a scripture, I'll give you one. Revelation 3.16. And I've got it on the easy version. So you read it out of your translation. Amen. But the easy version says this. But you are only warm and not hot and not cold. So I'm ready to spit you out of my mouth. Yes. This is God saying this. Mm -hmm. So... You're warm only, not hot, and not cold. Right. I'm ready to spit you out of my mouth. Mm. Amen. God wants to use us, but we are. This is what we are to do. 
Mark 12, 30. I'm, using, I'm still using the easy to read version. It says, love the Lord your God with what? All your heart, all your soul, all your mind, and all your strength. Basically, be available. Amen. When none of us are perfect. That's right. And all the Bible heroes God used before were never perfect. But he still used them. So it's time for you to make yourself available. Be available. Yes. Amen. And was that scripture again? Uh, Mark uh, 1230. Mark 1230. Yes. My purpose this morning is to take you on a first look at knowing that God wants to use you. Yeah. I don't care who told you what. God wants to use you. He put you here for a reason. And if he put you here, he wants to use you. You are part of his team. Especially if you've confessed him as your Lord and Savior. Yeah. Now he's the head and we're the body. Right. Yeah. And we're the church. Mm -hmm. And if we're the church, he wants to use you. Yes, yeah. he does. Yeah. Amen. He told his disciples, go into all the world oh. and teach. Yes. Teach. Lay hands on the sick. Mm -hmm. Amen. Yeah. All these things. He wants us to do. Amen. Amen. So we do these things. But know this. He wants to use you. I don't care who's disqualified you. Who's put you away. Or who said what. It's time you stop that. Yes. Get rid of it. Delete. Huh. <laughs> and start renewing in the things of God. Yes. Start studying the word. And what the yes. word says. And believe what the word says. Yes. Not what people said. Not what so and so said. Not what holy holy said. But believe what the word of God says. Amen. Praise uh, God. And it's time for you to get busy for God. Yeah. He put you here to use you. He has no favorites. You're his favorite. Amen. Knowing that God wants to use us. Giving and surrendering all to Jesus. Be available. We must walk the walk and talk the talk he says to be hearers and doers of his word yes. if you're going to hear it then speak it uh -huh. it is it, it's got to come out of you you know the, he's given us authority and the authority is his word but if his word never comes out we never take authority we've got to use this authority and that's his word and confess what his word says amen whoo Amen. I've got to share this with you, and you've heard it before, but that's okay. You need to hear it again. A lot of us need, you know, it takes a little longer for some of us. <laughs> we must get rid of any passion killers. Remember, we've got to serve him with passion. Glory. What are the passion killers? Yeah. Cares. Well, first of all, distractions. <laughs> Cares, worries, doubts, families, spouses, friends, habits, sins. These yes. are distractions. These are things that stop you from being. These are passion killers mm -hmm. or dream killers, whatever you want to call them. Yeah. Vision killers. These are going to stop you from fulfilling what God is calling you to do. The Bible says you can do some things through Christ. Come on, church. You can do all things through Christ who strengthens you. So I can do all God has called me to, to, to do. Yes. Through Him. Yes, amen. amen. So, praise God. Amen. So, be hearers and doers of His Word. Get rid of any passion killers. Things that rob us of our dreams. Things that rob us of our joy. Our peace. You know, somebody comes and lays something on you. Don't let them steal your peace. You bring them into your peace. But you don't have to change because of, of what they say. That's right. Amen. I'm not going to let you steal my joy. I'm not going to let you steal my peace. Right. Amen. Amen. I'm Amen. going to continue to stay on track. I'm going to continue to stand on yes. what the word of uh, God has called me to do. Right. Mm -hmm. Amen. You know, you bring them into your peace. You yes. bring them into your joy. Yes. Amen. Yes. Praise God. I'll pray for you if you got problems, but I'm not going to take the care. That's it. Amen. Just cast it on him. Yeah. yeah. Amen. Come on now. Right, yes. amen. Things that stop us from fulfilling our mission, our vision. Things that extinguish the fire of passion to serve. Right. Amen. 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 Gee, whatever passion you have to serve it, whatever he's called you to do, don't let nobody take that passion amen. from you. Amen. Just do it unto him. You know, uh, thank you, praise team. Uh, they got me really excited this morning. And one of the songs they sang was, 
I'm forever grateful. Yes. On a daily basis. Yes. You know, forever grateful. Thank you, Lord. Amen. I'm forever grateful. Don't ever just forget about Jesus and just say, well, I, 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 if I need you, I'll call you, but don't no. bother me. Don't bug me now. Everything's mm -hmm. cool, cool, cool. Everything's going right. Mm -hmm. oh, so, wow. you know, we give them that uh, spare tire thing. You know? <laughs> <laughs> says, things that keep us from being available to be used of God. He wants to use you. We're stopping him. You're your biggest distraction sometimes. Mm -hmm. You need to stop Go that. Over. Amen. You're the biggest problem. Mm -hmm. You're stopping yourself because you don't see yourself the way he sees you. Right. He sees you qualified. Right. He sees you anointed. He's yes. called you and he's anointed you and yes. qualified you. But we're still waiting for whatever. We're waiting yeah. on him. We're waiting on the world's approval. No. Huh. Don't wait on the world. Bro. That's it. He's, there's no better approval than God's approval. Yeah, right, if right, he's approved right. you, then press on. Yes. You know, don't step out of your boat. Step out of your closet. Everybody's coming out of their closets. You say, a child of God. We're still in their closets. You know, right. uh, we can't say Jesus. Mm. You know, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. Yeah. <laughs> if you don't like it, too bad. <laughs> we, we, we have to hear all these things. Right. But mm -hmm. we can't say Jesus. No. We can't do it in school. We can't do it anywhere. You know, they want to take everything away. Yes. They yes. want to do away with the church. Yeah. Right. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. My favorite scripture, Hebrews uh, 10.25. How many of you know this scripture? Uh -huh. <laughs> Hebrews 10.25, again, easy to read version. We must not quit meeting together. The Bible right. says in King James, do not forsake the assembling right. of yourselves together. Right, right. This ain't nothing about church. He says, uh -huh. don't forsake the assembling assembly. of ourselves together. Right. We are the church. We come and encourage one another. Yeah. Lift each other up. Amen. Yeah. But we come together. And then we leave these four walls mm -hmm. and we go out that door. And now we're going to be the church going somewhere and yes. bring the good news to people out there that right. are lost. They're going through some problems. And I am the good news of God. Amen. I've said this many times. And you need to write this down. But you're the closest thing to a Bible. Some people will never see. Yes. Because some people will never step into this building. Some people right. will never step into a church building. Right. An assembly place. A meeting place. But they'll see you. And you're the closest thing to a Bible. They'll ever see. Amen. Or hear. Amen. 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 So. But you, but you need to open your mouth. Amen. You need to open your mouth. The Bible yes, says amen. death and life are in the power of the tongue. In the power of your words. So if you're speaking positive things, saying the right things, yeah. they'll, they'll listen yes. to the right things. And listen, words are seeds. Yes, words are carriers yes. of life or death. And wherever, they, wherever you plant them, it's going to grow. Mm -hmm. Are they growing bad seed or are they growing good seed? Right. It's up to you. Yes, Just share is. the good seed. Amen. Be positive and not negative. Woo. Come on now. Lord, yeah. Yeah. We must not quit meeting together as some are doing. Hey, you know, with coronavirus, mm. with the oh, uh, COVID-19, it's a good time, good time, you know. The government says we don't have to assemble ourselves together. Mm -hmm. We can't come together. There's distance. We got to distance ourselves. Oh boy. Mm -hmm. And that part-time Christian says, wow, this is good. Ah. That means I don't have to go to church. That means I can watch it over TV. Or I can watch and listen to it on the radio. Uh, but the Bible says do not forsake the yes. assembling of ourselves together. Amen. 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 You know, Jesus, in his days, there was a coronavirus. It was called leprosy. Yes. Uh -huh. Amen. Uh -huh. And a leopard came to visit Jesus. Uh -huh. They weren't even supposed to be in town. Yes, they were right. supposed to live out of town. Yes, yes. Uh -huh. But this ten lepers came to visit Jesus. Mm -hmm. And the leper says, you know, we want to be healed. Mm -hmm. And he says, be healed. And they were healed. He says, go show yourself to the priest. Yes. And they ran to show themselves to the priest. One of them yeah. came back to say, thank, thank you. you. And he was healed and made whole. Yes. Amen. 
Because yeah. leprosy, you lose parts of your body. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Maybe those parts grow back. I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> but still, he yeah. came back to say thank you. Yes. On a daily basis, we're going to say that. Thank yeah. you, Lord. Man, I, don't, I didn't deserve this, but now I'm a child of God. And thank you for all the blessings. Amen. Some of us seek his blessings instead of the blessed are. Yeah. Keep, right, keep seeking the blessed are. Right. Yeah. Amen. Amen. Because you'll always have. And he'll always yeah. provide. He says he meets all your needs. Yes. Not all some right. needs. Amen. He says he meets all your all needs. All your needs. But some of us get hooked up on just the blessings. Yeah. And not yeah. the one that blesses us. Uh -huh. Right. Amen. Praise God. That's right. Man, we're still reading this. No. <laughs> no, we need to keep on encouraging each other. Yes. You know, I've said it so many times, I'll say it again. As children of God, we assemble ourselves together encourage one another yeah you know why because we're here to compete one another yeah. we're not here to compete that's right you know that's right. And the world creeps into our meeting places well what is it you do is that all you do yeah. we start competing mm -hmm. against each other and you know what somebody's always more than the other mm -hmm. but that's okay you know this physical body has many parts yes it does one body many parts and they all do different functions, yes, they but do. they never compete about who does the best. <laughs> and we must do the same thing as the body of Christ, oh, yeah. regardless of how little or how, 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 how small or how big, your part is vital. Your part yes. is important. So we complete and encourage one another yes. and not compete with each other. Amen. Amen. So all my Catholic brothers, all my uh, Baptist brothers, we're the body of Christ. Yes. Amen. Episcopals, Presbyterians. Yes. Wherever you are, still, yes. we're to encourage one another yes. and lift each other up. Amen. Amen. Come on now. That's right. That's right. The enemy, the Bible says we have one enemy, that's Satan. Yes. He comes to steal, kill, and destroy. Yes, he does. And it keeps us, if we keep ourselves in distraction and keep ourselves fighting each other, uh -huh. you know, we don't have to fight the devil. <laughs> the defeated foe is beating us. Mm -hmm. Amen. So quit being part time. He is uh -huh. full-time. Part-time Christian is no match to a full-time devil. That's right. That's right. You got to keep yourself be a full-time Christian. Mm -hmm. Amen. So, this becomes more and more important as you see the day of his return getting closer and closer. You know what I hear every day? Mm -hmm. It's getting closer. Yes. It's getting closer and closer yes. and closer. Yes. Amen. Yes, it is. It's getting closer. But you know, we must be about Father's business. Yes, we right. must be available for him to use us yes. wherever he is needed. Yes. Amen. You know, quit seeing uh -huh. like this. It's a small town. It's uh -huh. a small church. And God couldn't use us, you know. Because mm -hmm. just a little bitty town, just a little bitty church. But you know what? We have a big God. Yes, we do. Okay? And when you believe that way, it doesn't matter where you are. Remember That's David? Right. So we're going to be talking about David here soon, but David was a little guy. When Saul saw him, he heard about David volunteering to go uh -huh. be available. He said he made himself available to go yes. fight the giant. Yes. Right, right. And when King Saul came and he saw David, he says, man, you ain't nothing but a little boy. Uh -huh. <laughs> People see you that way and people say the same things. Mm -hmm. You're just a nobody. Mm -hmm. But don't see yourself that way. Amen. Right. Know who you are yes. and know who's backing you. Yes. Amen. David knew and David says, I'll go. Yes. King Saul also said, try to give him his armor. Saul was a big man. Yes, he was. And, 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 and David was a little, little guy. Mm -hmm. He said, that armor won't fit him. He said, I'll use what God has given me mm -hmm. to fulfill my mission. Yes. And you use what God has given you. Amen. Yes. And you're yes. going to fulfill what God called you to right. do. Right. And he ran to meet, ran, ran to mm -hmm. go and, and, and meet the giant. The giant was laughing at him also because he made <laughs> you, you know, this mm -hmm. little runt. Yeah. But that little runt went. And he executed. He yes. went and did what God called him That's to do right. and he killed that giant. Right. And you know what? You can do the same thing with all the giants you face on a daily basis. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. Yes. yes. Thank you, Lord. 
and I'm going to say this, but uh, don't throw anything at me. <laughs> believers or Christians never retire That's right. from being used, amen, Grow by up. Him. Amen. Age right. doesn't matter, size doesn't matter. They refire. Yes. And the Bible tells us, if you go to 2 Timothy 1, and we're going to read verse 6 through 8. Amen. First, oh, excuse me, second. Second Timothy. Second Timothy, yeah, it's right after first. <laughs> and some of us are familiar with one of these scriptures, okay? But this is what he says. So Christians don't retire, they stir themselves up. Christians need a daily dose of stirring up to keep serving him with passion. Yes. Amen. So let's go there. Okay, it says, uh, let me let me read it from the Amplified. Second Timothy chapter one, verse seven. Oh, excuse me, yeah. Uh, verse six. Verse six says this. That is why I would remind you to stir up, rekindle the embers of, fan the flames of, and keep burning the gracious gift of God, the inner fire that is in you by means of laying on of my hands uh, with those of the elders at your ordination. Mm. See what he's telling them? <laughs> There's this fire for God burning in you, but you got to rekindle. You got to flame. Uh, what's it say? Yeah, keep keep it burning. Fan the flames. Yeah, fan, fan the flames. Fan the flames. This is this is the this is the amplified. Okay, uh, the the King James just says, "Wherever I put thee in remembrance that you thou stir up the gift of God, which yes. is the in in thee by the putting on of my hands." But yes. see, amplified goes a little further. He says, "Stir up that flame, those embers. Fan the flames." Amen. So it's there, but we have to do the stirring up. Nobody's going to stir it up That's for right. you. That's right. Amen. So, hey, we got to get ourselves in line and say, hey, I want to yeah. fan it up. Yes. So, verse uh, 7, and we're familiar with verse 7. He's yeah. told us this thing to fire and stir up. And verse 7 tells us what? For God has not given us a spirit of fear, yeah. but a power of love, love and of a sound mind. mind. Amen. Amen. Well, you know, we know that very well, but mm -hmm. we didn't read the one prior to that he says <laughs> stir yourself up you know what happens yes. when you stir yourself up we used to have uh before football games we used to have these pep rallies oh, yeah. Yeah. you know and pep rallies you know <laughs> you, you know you, you you may never have won a game but when you go to a pep rally man everybody is a champion right. everybody's going to win right. when you get on the field it might be different yeah. but pep rally everybody's fired up yeah. Yeah. and you know as christians we need to stir up and get yes, fired up. Yes, yes. Lord, if you, don't, if you don't, if you don't, if you don't spend time with Him, if you don't spend time with Him and get fired up, mm -hmm. and just go, as soon as you leave, uh -huh. the world's going to have you. Yeah, mm -hmm. you get wherever you go, wherever you work, mm -hmm. and they're going to have you. Yeah, and by the end of the day, you say, "Man, this was a bad day." <laughs> you know, don't be that way. That's get right. yourself ready, prepare yourself, yes. stir yourself up with Him, and get fired up. Yes. Just like the Bible says, yes. fan the flame. Yes. Get it up, you know. Don't let your fire go way low. Mm -hmm. Get your fire up and burning. Yes. Amen? Amen? So, come on. You have to do it. Don't blame nobody else but you. So, man. Amen. I'll put you a better amen in there. <laughs> it says, Christians, believers need to need a daily dose of this stirring up. Yes. Up the gift of God. No fears to keep serving Him with passion. Amen. There's going to be many distractions. Mm -hmm. They're going to try to put you fired up. Yeah. But you have to get rid of those distractions. Right, right. Amen. And you got to wait a minute. Hey, you try to put my flame out. Mm -hmm. I'm going to get this flame going up higher. Amen. Confess yes. the word. Read the word. Get yes. it out. Of, start confessing yes. the word. Amen. Say, man, Amen. you you have your own little pep rallies yes. 
with God, amen? Yeah. <laughs> in, in the Word. And yeah. get yourself all fired up for Him. Amen. Amen. But I forgot to tell you uh, before we started that we're not going to finish this and we're not going <laughs> to keep you long. Amen. Amen. From here, you know what? I want you to go to Acts 1 8. And I want to read it to you from the Empire. Oh, yeah. 1 8. Yeah, everybody knows this, but let me read it to you from the Amplified, amen? Uh, Acts. Acts 1.8 says this. It says, mine is a red, I don't know about yours. Yeah. <laughs> but Acts 1.8 says, but ye shall receive power after the Holy Ghost has come upon you. And ye shall be witnesses uh, unto me both in Jerusalem and in all Judea yes. and in Samaria and unto the uttermost parts of the earth. Amen. The... The uh, Amplified says this, huh. but you shall receive power, ability, efficiency, and might yes. when the Holy Spirit has come upon you, uh -huh. and you shall receive, and you shall be my witnesses in Jerusalem and all Judea and all Samaria, and to the ends of every bounds of the earth. Amen. So listen, in Marfa, in Alpine. Presidio, wherever we could be. Amen. But he says he'll give us, we shall receive power. It says ability, efficiencies, and might. Miracle powers. Amen. Miracle powers. Well, I couldn't do that. Well, you know what? Don't say that. Because he says we can. And yes. we can lay hands on the sick. Amen. And they will recover. And miracles will happen. Amen. Yes, amen. So don't Wonderful. say those things. That's Just right. say the positive things. Yes. Say what the word says and do what the word says you can do. Amen. I'm a can do person. I don't know about yeah. you, but I'm a can do person. Yes. <laughs> Let me read it to you again. Christians need a daily dose of stirring up. No fears. No fears. To keep us, to keep serving Him with passion. To keep us serving him and stay fired up and on yes. fire for him. So amen. stay on fire for God, amen. Yes, thank you, Lord. <laughs> Hallelujah. Praise God. Amen, amen, amen. I wonder about you. I'll preach myself happy. Yes. Amen. <laughs> yeah. However, some of us lose our servant passion. <laughs> huh. You know what happens when you lose your passion? Mm -hmm. You're not available. That's it. And God's not and, and you're not answering. Mm -hmm. we, we give God that uh, cold treatment <laughs> we lose our servant passion quickly yeah. it says quickly uh -huh. that's how fast if you give place to the enemy he comes to steal, kill and destroy we lose that passion quickly you let the world take you down you'll lose it quickly yes. we must keep the passion fire going amen we We got to keep the passion fire going. Amen. We do it for everything else. Uh -huh. We make mm -hmm. ourselves available for oh, everything yeah. else. That's right. Amen. So we do it for everything else but for God. Amen. Amen. So we need to turn that around. Yes. Let's do it for Him. Amen. And forget about the rest. Amen. Unless He tells you to do it. Amen. Luke 9, 23 and 26 says this. Easy to read version. Just listen. Jesus continued to say to all of them, any of you who want to be my followers must stop thinking about yourselves yes. and what you want. All right. I want to use you, but you must be willing to carry the cross that is given to Amen. you every day for following me. Amen. Every day for following me. Yes. I want to use you every day. Amen. And verse 24 says, any of you who try to save the, the life you have uh -huh. will lose it. But if you give up your life for me, we'll save it. Yes. 25, it is worth nothing for you to save the whole world if you yourselves are destroyed or lost. Mm. And verse 25 says, don't be ashamed of me mm. and my teachings. If that happens, I will be ashamed of you yeah. when I come with my divine greatness mm. and, the, and that the Father and the holy angels. Amen. Yes. So don't give up. Amen. Amen. He wants to use you. Deuteronomy 4.24 in the King James says, For God, for the Lord God, 
for the Lord your God is a consuming yes. fire, yes, a jealous is. God. Oh my gosh. Amen. And the easy version says it like this. Because the Lord your God hates for his people to worship other gods. Uh -huh. And he can be like a fire that destroys. Right. He don't want you to have other gods. That's right. Amen. And we talked about this a few weeks back. Mm. There's no other gods. All these heroes uh -huh. that people have are still in their graves. Yeah. But God, but Jesus rose from the dead. Amen. And he rose and he went to heaven and is seated at the right hand of God. And the Bible says it. So if you have other gods, just get rid of them. Amen. <laughs> Amen. <clears throat> God wants to use you, but he's a jealous God. Yeah. And being a jealous God simply means this. He will not accept half-hearted service. That's right. <laughs> Amen. Lord. Don't be lukewarm. Don't yeah. serve him lukewarm. Right. He said hot or cold. Yeah. But being a jealous God simply means this. He will not accept half-hearted service. Right. So he wants us totally surrendered. Yeah. He wants us totally committed. He wants us to be available, faithful, and teachable. Amen. Mm -hmm. He wants us he wants to be first in our lives. Remember yeah. Matthew 6 33. Yeah. Just write it down and go check it yourself. Yeah. He desires to be at the top of our priorities. Right. Yes. Seek ye first the kingdom of God and his yes. righteousness and all these all these other things yes. shall be added unto you. So if you have a list, a work list, whatever, uh -huh. mm -hmm. <laughs> make sure God is up above yes. that. Amen. Put God first. Yes. God yes. first. Spend time with him, you know. Yes. Um I don't know, I just want to say this, but if you have a certain time that you need to be at work, get up early enough that you can spend time with you. Amen. And then you have time to drive to work, be to work, and have peace about this whole situation. Instead of just racing out of home at the last minute and maybe mm -hmm. getting a ticket on the way there. And then get there and be upset because uh -huh. your coffee's not ready. Be upset oh, because no. everybody in there is saying the wrong things. Mm -hmm. And everything's going to go bad. Amen. So you make the choice to make time for him. Amen. And spend time with him. And yeah. get things right. And be yourself. Have that whole armor on. Amen. Have the whole armor of God on. Amen. Yes, yes. And, and not just race and be in a hurry. Yeah, yeah. Amen. When you make time for him, he'll make time for you. Yes, he will. Be available. Amen. Amen. Well, uh, we'll be closing with this. Amen. He said he wants <laughs> he wants us to stay. Listen. <laughs> he wants us to stay hungry. <laughs> he wants us to stay thirsty <laughs> for more of him. <laughs> he wants us to stay hungry All right. and thirsty for more yeah, of him. Yeah, we know hungry. some of us. I'm hungry for the food. I smell the food. It smells great. We're going to have fellowship in a few minutes. And I can smell the food. And it smells good. But spiritual food first. Amen. Amen. Yes. Lord, yes. He wants us to stay hungry for his word. He wants us to stay hungry for and thirsty for his word. Amen. Uh, I think last week we talked about being available. Jesus came. And he's talking to Simon Peter, mm -hmm. or Simon, and he says, I need to borrow your boat. Uh -huh. He says, just go out a little ways. Mm -hmm. You know why? Because people were so hungry for the word of God, yes. they came all the way to the shore. Uh -huh. yeah. And he didn't have no place to preach. Mm -hmm. So he took the boat out a little ways, and far enough where they could see and hear yeah. what he yes. had to say. Yes. But they was hungry enough. That they just went in, you know, and I told you, we do this when we go to a sporting events. We do this when we go to a concert. Uh -huh. We do this when we like some things that we passionately like some of these things. Right. We do it for the world, mm -hmm. but we can't do it for God. Right, right. We got to be hungry for his word. Amen. Be thirsty for his word. Drink yes. it. Eat it. Amen. Amen. He wants... His purpose for our lives to be yes. the most important. Yes. And I'll be closing with these two scriptures here. In Revelation 3.16 again uh -huh. was, But you, you are only warm and not hot. 
-huh. not cold. So I'm ready to spit you out of my mouth. Mm. Remember that. Write that down. Revelations 3, 16. 16 uh -huh. Amen. Jesus and our um, Romans 12, 11. Mm. I don't think uh, you can write that down. But, well, let's, let's go there so you can see it. Romans 12, 11. Romans 12, 11. <laughs> I got a little sticky on it. Okay. Romans 12, 11, you know, verse 1 starts off with uh, yeah. about us renewing our minds to the things yeah. of God, you know. Mm -hmm. So, but verse 11 says this. Not slothful in business, fervent in spirit, serving the Lord. And the Amplified says it like this. Never lag in zeal and in earnest endeavors. Be glow and, bur and burning with the spirit, serving the Lord. Mm. Don't, don't he won't accept half-hearted service. Right. Amen. But you know, stay on fire and stay stirred yes. up for him. Amen. Yes. And don't give him just a, you know, a, a cold snack. Yeah. <laughs> you want a hot meal all the time, and you give Jesus a hot snack. I mean, a cold mm -hmm. snack. Nope. And the uh, NIV says it like this: Never be lacking in zeal, passion, enthusiasm, or fervor. But keep your spiritual fervor, passion, enthusiasm, commitment, serving the Lord. Be available. Be intense. Be heated. Be emotions. Have emotions in serving Him. Amen. Amen. So praise God. Woo! Hallelujah. I think we're going to we're going to stop right there, and we're going to continue next week with this. It's a series about being available for Him. Amen. When you're available for Him to use you, guess what? He's going to use you. Yes. So whatever mindsets you have, get rid of. Whatever distractions you have, get rid of. Amen. Because he wants to use you. You're good enough. Why? Because he made you that way. Yes. Because he called you. Because he qualified you. Amen. And put the gifts in you. So keep yourself stirred up. And keep serving God. Amen. Amen. But be hungry about it. And serving him. Amen. Amen. So the praise God. We'll close right there. Thank you, Father, for your precious word. Yes. Hallelujah. Amen, amen, amen. I guess you're done with that one. <laughs> <laughs> so, it's time to give. Yeah. <laughs> those of you watching, listening, that Thank would you like Lord. to give your, your tithe or offerings, you can still do so. Just yes. go to our website, nbcbigben.com, yes. and hit that donate button. If you're mailing it, NBC PO Box 252, Marfa, Texas, 79843. Amen. So praise God. Amen. If you Thank never, you never, never, never accepted Jesus, if you never make yourself available to him, now's the time to yeah. make yourself available. Amen. All you have to do is, is just know, say, I failed you. I've sinned against you. I repent. Come yes. into my life. Yes. Be my Lord yes. and yes. Savior. Yes. And you know what? Yes. He's going to do that. He's going to do that for you. Amen. And yes. uh He's going to receive you. And you're going to be yes. born again, child of God. Yes, you will. You look the same on the outside, but on the inside, man, you had a spiritual birth. Uh -huh. And people are going to say that. Yeah. You're born again. What do you mean born again? On the inside, you had yes. a spiritual birth. And you're yes. a new child. St. Corinthians says, the, new, the, the old is out, the new is in. Yes. 5.17. Amen. 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 It says, the old is out, the new is in. Yes. So now you start feeding on the word. Stay hungry on the word. Yes, Feed on the word. Amen. Stay uh -huh. hungry for the word. And you will change. And God's yes. going to use you. Amen. Yeah. Why? Because you are making yourself available yeah. for him to use you now. Mm -hmm. Amen. Yeah. So praise yeah. God. If you're sick, if you need a touch of healing in your body, yes. uh, just touch that area or just confess the word of God. It says, by Jesus stripes, I am healed. Yes. Body line up with the word of God. Yes. Receive your healing now in Jesus' name. Jesus if you want to touch that part of your body, that's fine. Yes, thank you, Lord. Just know that by Jesus' stripes you are healed. So we're releasing that healing anointing to go and minister to you and heal that heal you in Jesus' yes, name. Amen. Amen. So receive it now. And we give God all the praise and all the glory. Amen. Amen. So glory to God. Amen. Amen. I'm excited. Praise uh, God. Raise your hands.